Are you thirsty? Come on. Yeah, and some of you know that I have a very talented uh, nephew uh, called Nikolai. He's making uh, a cartoon about her Bluetooth. And um, I decided that I'll, uh, every time I make a video, I'll present one of his little uh, uh, videos. It's not a video like that because it doesn't make uh, cartoon videos, but uh, drawings. Uh, that's my plan. And, um, this is the first one. I hope you enjoy that and and if you think this uh, these uh, drawings are funny and interesting you can uh, support him by uh, subscribing to his Instagram account. I write it down here what the name is but it's hard bluetooth. So yeah. Here he comes the first one. Hope you enjoy. I think it's uh, very nice uh, little things he are doing here and, uh, I, want and I want to support my nephew Nikolai by taking his uh, drawings into my videos, my channel, so you can enjoy them too. Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft, Viking Heritage. Today I'm in the shelter, the Viking shelter here in the Black Forest and um, yeah, making a day with Cornelius and uh, some good food, I hope. And I've got a lot of new stuff I would like to show you. Um, something new about the fireball and uh, some other things that I'm in the process of making and have made. So. And as you can see, it's a wonderful day today. Uh, the sun is shining and there's no wind at all. So almost no wind. Um, it always uh, is a windy condition here in, in Denmark, but today it's very calm and nice and cozy. So yeah, 
It's been a while since I've been out in the forest and making a video about 14 days, so I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'm glad you joined me or joined us. Yeah, and the, the meat I'm drinking today is from a friendly subscriber in Austria called David's and uh, he sent me some local uh, meat and uh, he thought I should taste that and uh, see how it is compared with the Danish meat I can buy here in Denmark and yeah it tastes exactly as its shell um, it's about 12% alcohol so it's a semi uh, strong meat yeah I like it it's a little bit sweet and uh, I like that uh, very much in meat. So here's to you, David Skoll, and thank you for sending me uh, this wonderful meat. Mm. But I think I'll start with showing you uh, a very interesting thing uh, regarding the fireball that I'm uh, in the process of making together with the company uh, Kuni in uh, in Germany. So yeah, yeah. and here it is the first prototype of the. Fire pole that we call Aran Arni. Uh, in in uh, Icelandic, it means fireplace or earth. So uh, yeah, it has the same dimension as my um, my first edition. See here, but this one is made out of stainless steel, so it will probably be hold for a very long time and actually quite easy to assemble here here you are right Cornelius yeah and um, yeah there's also this one that will come in uh, a little bit later but I want to show you something Look at this. Can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great idea that the guys came up with. I can put the tubes in here to stabilize the, the fireball. And uh, yeah, you can see when I put it up, it's very easy to set up. Uh, this is a detail that they came up with, so uh, I like it a lot. I think it's a great detail. We have discussed a little bit how we are going to to use the legs here because there are several options and um, we try to drill some holes and put a core uh, through it and it works okay um, then we are trying this a little ring and I like this idea but I don't know if it is yeah if it is um, too unstable? I don't think so. Uh, you can see when I put it up here, it's actually very sturdy. Yeah, so I like this and then put this little uh, in so that the, the sparks, embers, doesn't uh, fall down. So um, this is the little new fireball. Uh, a collaboration between me and the company Kuni, Bastian and Christian. I like it a lot and uh, perhaps something will be changed uh, before we put it in production but as it is now I think it will be a, a big success. So let me take you a little bit closer you can see the details here. How the tubes go in here. And uh, make it very sturdy. And now I will uh, have the first fire on this fireball. I will say one thing, uh, it's very dry here in Denmark, so I don't want to make a big fire. I'm making a small fire and then I have some uh, wood coal, some coals I'll put in. Uh, and uh, then I'll prepare my food over that and you see uh, what I'm going to eat but the coals won't uh, be as dangerous as open fire so 
that's why I'm doing that today. Because of course when I'm making my coffee, I have to have a little bit of fire there. But yeah. I'll try it with the little Yakut knife, see if that's better. Yeah, a little bit better. My CX is very thick, so it's not optimal for making feather sticks. And besides that, I'm not very good at it. But I think this will do. I can light up my fire now. And then I put some coals on. So that there will only be coals here. And it's perfect for that uh, thing I'm going to make today. Today I'm going to make uh, this chicken over the fire and um, I made this, it's from a TJM uh, Wentzel Works and it's a split roast, I think he's called it. You can see here how it comes when he makes them, but um, 
instead of having to carry a lot of stuff, I customized it like this. So this one that I can have my uh, paint on, I can put it in here, and then I can have it on my uh, fire anchor. I think it's a great idea. Let's see here. Let's see here if I can get it through. Oh, first of all, Ekel, Cornelius, stay away. There we are. I just have to set this up. Let's see how far it's going to be. Approximately there. And then when there are only coals, I can put this over and I should be able to turn it. When time comes, like this. Perhaps I need some kind of glove because I think this one will be hot. But uh, for now it's okay. And I took a bone with me today. We had a lamb here the other day for Cornelius. Oh yeah. That is good. Put a little bit of salt on. The other side. Let's see if I can do it like this. Yeah, that's okay. A little bit of salt here too. Looking good. Is it tasty, Cornelius? I think he likes it.
And now I think the meat is almost done. Uh, five minutes and then I'll put the uh, water over for coffee. It looks very delicious. Oh yeah, so tender. Look at this. Very tasty. I forgot my hold to my drinking horn. I have to sit with it. Call everyone. Mm.
it's cooking. Cook for a minute or two and then uh, let it rest for a minute or two. Then you have some perfect cooking coffee from Lemo. What can you see, Cornelius? What is it? Hmm? Ah. Sometimes there's horses out here, so perhaps it's a horse I can here. I can't see anything. Was there anything? No. And I present you the new uh, prototype of the fireball from Kuni Arin, and um, I think it's working perfect. So uh, there's not much uh, to do, I think, before it could be put into production. I hope so, so you can buy it if you want to. And you saw my little uh, customization of the um, roast split, split, I think it's called from TJM uh, Metalworks uh, and it works great too and then uh, I don't have to have the the sticks in the ground and the, the spit roast over it like that I can have it on my fire anchor uh, like all my other stuff so I think that's cool yeah and uh, I'm actually busy back home I'm making a, a shield a Viking shield and uh, it takes a long time because I want to make it very sturdy and very firm. So uh, I'm using uh, some wood that is very uh, heavy and uh, I have to grind it down and so on. And yeah, it'll take a couple of uh, weeks before I'm finished with that and I can present it in one of my videos. I know a lot of you are asking for my DIY projects and uh, yeah. Actually, I made a new uh, channel. On this channel, it's uh, supposed to be only my DIY projects. On this channel, I will always have them, but I'll try to uh, find the other, the old videos with my uh, DIY project in and put it on that, uh, on the, that channel so that it'll only be a DIY project. But it takes a long, t long time because I have to go back and find the videos and uh, editing and. So uh, I have a few videos there and this video will also be there 
when I make my uh, Viking shield. So I hope you enjoy that too. And uh, then I also found out uh, which uh, subject I want to discuss in my next uh, Vikings from A to O uh, with the letter B and it will be about something with blood and uh, you can think about what I could tell you about blood and uh, Vikings. Perhaps you can guess that before I make this video. I'm looking very much forward to that. Yeah, folks, this is all for now. Uh, thank you for watching Kimba Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this little video from uh, one of my favorite places here in the Black Forest, the Viking Shelter, as I call it. It's been a wonderful day. I actually just had a visit from Holland. Uh, two uh, men and a wife from Holland was bicycling uh, from Holland and all the way to Norcap. It's a long journey, and I wish them a good travel, a good safe travel there. Nice people, yeah. And Cornelius is beginning to be a little bit uh, impatient. I think he wants to go home and uh, yeah, and me too. Hope you enjoy the things I was uh, showing in this video and the things I was making. And uh, then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care. Let's go.